Hello fans of Final Fantasy XV Comrades, the multiplayer expansion. Today we're going to look at every single pole arm there is in the game and we're going to determine what's best purely on attack power. Now you see in the bottom right corner the stats for the weapon and you can see attack is 34 for this weapon and 99 for this weapon. But today we're going to see when we level them all up to 120, which one's going to actually be the best. So for this one, we need to raise up Vitality, so I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to just get them all up to 120. Um, you can actually level it up however you want with any gemstones you want. There are certain criteria that you need to meet in order to get it to the next tier, though. Um, that should be explained in the game. Um, anything that has like a invisible line on it, it means you have to level it up. So this is the last form of the lance and it has 164 attack power right now, one fleet free slot and it has crusher 2 on it. So we're gonna level it up more than it's supposed to, all the way up to 120, so add meteorites on it. Um, and now we can add strength gemstones, you can use any gemstones you want, you can use any d other different types of materials you want. I'm doing this for speed sakes. Once you level it up to 120 though, it'll actually have its you know, final attack power. So the, the first night Lance you can get um, has 223 attack power and it has Crusher 2 on it. This knight's lance doesn't look like it can be leveled up because there's no invisible or not invisible but there's no visible line to level it up. So I'm going to take it to 120 it, and the same has Crusher 2 in one free slot but let's see if we can get stronger than the one that had to be leveled up. So its final attack power would be 223, which is the exact same thing for the original. Um, so now we got a dulled spear. You might have to look it up to where you can find this because there's three different types of dulled spears. This one takes it starts out at level 20, and it takes Vitality and Magic to fully upgrade it. So we're going to add Gemstones to it, and yeah, that will level me up all the way. And now it has one free slot and Air Supremacy 2 on it, and I got to level up Strength and Vitality in order to get it to the final tier. It turned into the Dragon Lance. Um, the attack power is looking pretty good, so we're going to add another gemstone, and it's at Raven's Lance, and it's at its final tier, so I'm going to add meteorites, level it up, so I already got 205 attack power, which isn't that bad, so we're going to go to level it up. Let's actually use stuff that I got 99 of. Um, magic. So it'll end up being Raven Lance. It has an attack power of 255, which isn't really that bad. So the next thing we have is um, the Dragon Lance. Or no, it's a uh, Kureska. And once you level it up, it will be the Dragon Whisker. Um, there is a special way that you can do it, so I'm going to go ahead and just um, show you the best way of doing it. You would add a... You know, I don't know which way is the best to do it, so... Let me do it the way I need to. Look for dragon horns. Two of them will take care of 
Three, three of the stats out of the four that I need to level up. So, level that bad boy up. Uh, it takes strength and defense to turn into harpoon with an attack of 133, but it can be leveled up again. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put vitality on it. And then we're gonna switch to strength gemstones, level it up the rest of the way. And it turned into the dragon whisker with an attack of 207. But we're gonna add meteorites to it. And now we're gonna level it up the rest of the way. Let's do some vitality gemstones. Which will give it a permanent attack of 258 with Penetrator X on it. Um, we got another Dalt Spear here, and it takes Ice to level up. Ice Resistance. So 40, 45. That should do it. Then we take the Dalt Spear. Let's use some of these. Um, it has now a warp combo Bizarra Blizzara is how you'd probably say it um, and it takes a hundred ice resistance to level it up all the way so level it up the rest and now it has Charge Strike Clear Out and Warp Combo Blizzaga. So this is definitely a mage weapon and I am at its final tier. So I'm going to add those Meteor Shards like the rest of the weapons. And I'm going to boost the attack power uh, because the higher your level is, the higher your attack power is going to get. Um, Let's see, uh, let's use some Vitality Gemstones. Its permanent attack is 218. That's not too bad. Now we got a Mithril Lance. Needs Spirit to level up. Um, let's add a Spirit to it. That's a Magic. And it comes with Critical Boost 2. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to add just a Spirit Shard. That will take care of the, the Spirit that I need to level it up. <clears throat> and the next thing I want to work on is Vitality. Or Vitality, not Vitality. And it has Light Bound on it and Critical Boost X. And an attack power of 199. Next we have a Dull Spear that at max level is 60. Um, and it takes Lightning Resistance to level it up. It takes 100% Lightning Resistance to level up. So we're going to take that Dull Spear. We're going to add some Vitality to it. And now it's Kane's Lance, which you can find um, when you ever you find a Chocobo and you level them up good enough. It has Chaos Bringer and Warp Combo Thunderga. It's at its final tier, so I'm going to level it up to 120. And we're going to see the attack power in the end um, of how high it can go. So... 284 is its highest attack. So, nothing's beaten the Dragon Whisper so far. So, we've got a Storm Lance. Take some Vitality to level up. It turns into a Partisan. Now, I go to Spirit, level it up. And it turns into Precision Lance. 
find anything good out there? Which after that it has sidestep on it, so it's good for dodging attacks. And now we level it up. Actually, it can, I can, it can go up to nine. Oh, not 99, 120. Hmm. I've seen worse. We got her all tuned up for you. So then we can add some magic gemstones to it. And its final attack power is 214. Next, we have the harbor. And it takes strength to level it up. It takes strength and spirit. Not too shabby. And it already has Undaunted 2 on it, so that's a pretty good thing. Um, just completely level it up. Well, blow me down. It has Undaunted X, and that's its final form. The Charlotte, Char uh, Chariot. You find anything good out there? Um, so, I'm going to add Meteorites. The wood up to 120 and see what the final attack power is. Well, let's see something I have a lot of uh, spirit gem sounds. And its final attack power is 239. Has on Delta Dex and a free slot. Still, nothing's beaten to the Dragon Whisker. Um, this one takes HP to level up. So we're gonna add some HP to it. Not too shabby. It has life drain on, They're so this is a good up, way baby. to gain HP and Would you look at that? have a good deep. source of healing because life drain actually helps a that? lot. So now it is at its final form. It can't be leveled up anymore, so we're gonna level it up to 120 and the final form is called uh, Rebel Lance. Got her all tuned up for you. Let's see if, how many of these we need. Make 59 of them. That'll work. That ain't that bad. And it has a permanent attack of 199 in the end, which is actually one of the weaker. Lances. So Obelisk, which is known for um, definitely being a, one of the stronger and better major um, lances in the past video games, but we're gonna level it up. It doesn't seem to get any better. So it has Stormbound. And offensive spell thunder, which um, storebound adds lightning element to your melee, and thunder spell is an elemental spell you can cast. So once we level with us up all the way, it'll have a 124 attack power. So so far got one more to go and this is a level uh, 10 weapon and it takes 9 meteorites to level up and it has light bound and cure the spell the sooner on it so we're gonna have some magic to it has a good attack power of 255 so there is all of the lances the pole arms all leveled up actually this radiant lance is not all the way leveled up I, I must have missed something sorry about that so let's level this up all the way and see if it actually turns better Has an end attack of 236. So, the best pull arm in the game is Dragon Whisker with an attack power of 258. Or, or Kane's Lance, hold on. You can see for yourself, Kane's Lance has Chaos Bringer, 
charge attacks become powerful forward thrust. Um, so yeah, Kane's Lance is actually the stronger of all the lances. The only thing is, is it's got Thunder Gun on it, so you're going to want to use a magic build for it. Um, but Dragon Link Whisker is my favorite, but just pure attack power and abilities, Kane Lance wins the day. So I don't see anything else that has better than 284. So that would conclude the video on the best cane, or um, the best pole arm in the game would be Kane's Lance or Dragon Whisker. It depends on if you want to go melee or more magic. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if this video has helped you in any way. And I will be posting more for the other types of weapons that there is. So I will see you next time and thank you again for watching.